hi angels welcome back to another diy so in this diy we're going to be making a cute little feather dress i've been seeing it on instagram first i saw kylie jenner wore it for a 21st not 21st 22nd birthday then i kept on seeing it over and over again so i was like eh, let me just make it so i got this really stretchy tube dress from walmart i think i paid like three dollars for it and all you're going to need is some uh, feather trim and that's it and some hot glue gun if you want to be as lazy as me or you can use the e60 glue and just leave it overnight for it to dry or if you're really fancy you can sew it on because this material can be sewn but i wasn't doing none of that i just grabbed my, my hot glue gun and it just started gluing so first thing first i cut up the the fabric <laughs> Yes, so that's the first thing I did. I just measured it around to see where I wanted it to stop. I knew that I wanted it to go underneath my arm. I knew that I wasn't able to fill up all the way around since it's only it only comes one yard and it's like twelve dollars. So I only got five, and I knew that that was still wasn't going to be enough to fill up the whole dress. So I had to spread it out. So I had to make sure that I was able to use up all of the material and still be able to complete the dress so that's what i did just space it out glue it on cut it up just cut up a little piece of it and then just glue it on by the way i did it upside down because i wanted it to be more fluffy and feel like if it was just like how do you describe it like i didn't want it to be plain and simple if you turn the dress upside down then it would just be flat it wouldn't be poofy but i wanted it to be extra you get what i'm trying to say i did a little bit opposite but yeah i think it turned out amazing i was gonna pair it with a belt but i was like never mind it's just look good just the way it is so I recommend before you even start gluing on anything first cut up and then start pinning down everything just to see how full you want it or how spacious you want it or how everything will look because if you start gluing on everything or start sewing on everything and then in the end you don't have enough or it's not what you wanted so this was the best method for me i should have just removed all of the pins since i already knew what i wanted it i wanted it to be like a fingertip a fingertip apart so what i did was just Place my finger on the first part of it, the first um, trim, and then just wherever the first index of my finger, finger is, then that's where I will place the next trim. And I just kept on doing it over and over again. But I kept on, I kept them up pinned up, so the glue started going all over the place. I had to eventually remove all of it, but I still kept some pin at the side so that I knew exactly where... I needed to start and then I just went all the way around and match up the first one with the second one and just kept on making sure that everything was even up so yeah that was the whole idea of everything by the way I was worried that the hot glue was gonna stick onto the mannequin because it always does every time I try making something but it did not it came off perfectly fine I wish I was able to just fill out the whole dress. It would have looked amazing. It still looked amazing, but would it be a little more extra? I think I'm going to finish it up. I only, probably only need like two or three more to make sure that I can finish up the back. And then I'm going to add a zipper right at the side, side underneath the arms. Just a little zipper that I can get in and out of the dress. So yeah. That's what I'm doing. Just gluing it on, gluing it on. You gotta be quick with it. Go as the glue would dry. So yeah, just gluing it. I made a mistake right here and then by letting too much space because at the boobs area, I didn't add in a second layer. So I don't think you can see it right now, but if you move it around, like if you move it down, then you'll be able to see it. But this is how this amazing dress turned out. 
I actually ran out so where the extra fabric was I just cut it off you don't even it doesn't even look like if I cut off anything but I just cut it off and boom this is how it looks and I paired it with this clutch that I made which I'm gonna post a video on how I actually did it pretty soon so stay tuned for that this is how it turned out I feel like a bubblegum princess <laughs> But yeah, I really, really hope you guys like this video. Hopefully, I will see you guys in my next one. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more videos like this. And also follow me on my Instagram, which I will link, the link it in the description box below. Just click the link. Check it out. I always post videos and pictures of everything I make. On there so this little FYI and I actually tried to did my makeup for this so you knew that this was my favorite look okay I'm gonna stop rambling on and on bye bye don't forget to subscribe bye